Hi, this is Devin from the York Public Library, and I'm the Reference and Technology Librarian here. I'm going to walk you through how to install Cloud Library onto your Kindle Fire. So the Cloud Library app on the Kindle Fire works a little bit different than it does for your Android phone or your iOS. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our Silk browser and open that. My Kindle Fire is a little old, so things move a little slowly. So uh, we're going to do a search for 3M Cloud Library. Or I'm just going to search for Cloud Library on the top here. And once again, we're doing this in Silk, not in the App Store. So you're going to look for that first link, yourcloudlibrary.com. And it's going to take us to the Cloud Library website. So we're going to skip this first part where you select your country and state and find your library and just scroll down until we see uh, the fire block. And we want to touch where it says available for fire. So this is going to walk us through the installation process. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate it here, uh, but if you ever get lost, it spells it out pretty clearly in the instructions from the website. So the first thing we need to do is enable the Fire to accept apps from a third-party source. So by default, that security setting is turned off to not allow you to install things that don't come directly from Amazon. Uh, and unfortunately, this app is not in the Amazon store. So we're going to follow these instructions and allow uh, apps from a third party. So to do this, we're going to swipe down from the top and we're going to select the gear on the very top next to the profile. So then we have all of our settings here and we're going to scroll down under personal and we're going to select security and privacy with the lock next to it. And under advanced, the first option is apps from unknown sources. I can see that it's grayed out, so it's not selected. You'll want to touch that little toggle switch uh, until it turns kind of that orangey yellow kind of color. And then we get this warning that lets you know what you're doing. Uh, you can select OK. I can't vouch for apps from any other sources, but I do know that 3M Cloud Library app is a good, a safe app. So once we're done with this, we're going to return back to the Silk browser, uh, back to that Cloud Library website with the instructions for the installation. So there we go, I'm back on the Silk site. So I've done step one, I've enabled the fire. So I'm gonna scroll down to two for download and install. So we'll see that there's two generations, uh, software for two generations of Fire, third gen Fire and fourth generation of Fire and up. My Kindle Fire is five years old and I'm a seventh gen. So I would guess for most of you listening to this that you will have a fourth gen and up Fire. However, if you do wanna double check, it gives you instructions for how to double check which generation you have. You're gonna click on the orange button that says download fourth gen and up Fire or whatever version you may have. Get this little warning at the bottom, select OK on the bottom right. And I can see that it's downloading the file. The file's done, I can select open on the bottom of the screen to the right of the file name, or I can swipe down from the top of the screen and see that the download is complete and select from there. And that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, so this tells me all the things that the app can do and verifies that I want to install it, and I do. 
and now you've entered the installation process. Typically, this goes very quick, but like I said, this fire is over five years old, so this process is actually going to take about five or ten minutes on mine. Uh, so I'm going to stop the video here, uh, but this should be successful for you. And if you have any issues, please call the library and ask to speak with Devin. Thanks.